Hello Internet and welcome to another episode of All Amount of Carnage. In today's episode, we welcome back the Listen Sylvia, who finally gets her work done on it. That's right everyone, my 1992 Nissan Sylvia is back in the shed. Well, it's not quite in the shed, it's just over there, but we'll get to that in a minute. First, a backstory and a bit of an update. So, last time you saw this car, I drove it 380 kilometers down to Kalgoorlie to a bloke called Rob from Raw Performance and what an absolute legend. Now, the main reasoning for going to him was he knows imports and I wanted someone who knew what they were doing to go over the car and make sure everything that I've done so far is kosher and correct so oh and also we were still having that idle issue where it was idling way too high he took one look at the car and said yep that's your idle air control valve go figure guys the one part that i didn't replace is the one that let us down yeah we cleaned it out a few times but i should have just replaced it anyway it was great having a confirmation from him to say yep that's what's wrong he fixed that and now the car runs smooth it is so nice to drive it idles perfectly there's well i would like to say there's nothing wrong with it but the other thing that he found out was that the car is stuck in third gear so go figure it right guys we get one thing fixed to then find two more things broken with this car it's a never-ending story for sylvia but we will keep pushing on because i really want this car i really want it finished so he's like, what do you want to do? And I'm like, I'll come down, I'll pick the car up, get it home, and then I'll figure it out from there. So in the meantime, I managed to find another legend who was doing a manual conversion on his 180SX and happened to have a transmission that would fit in just sitting around. I'm like, cool, how much you want for it? He's like, uh, 100 bucks. I'm like, done. So, new, tra well, it's not, it's like a second-hand transmission. 180,000 kilometers on it, 120 bucks shipped up to me, job done. So for that kind of price, I'm not even going to bother trying to figure out what's wrong with my transmission. I'm just going to rip it out and whack this new one in. So that's up to date. Let's show you what we've done. All right, so here we are. As I said, it's back in the shed and I'm absolutely over the moon to have it here. It's really great to be able to drive this thing again, even if it doesn't quite drive normally, unless the engine runs properly. Um, and yeah, I've wasted no time, got it up on the axle stands. Well, I say wasted no time, but it sat here like this for about three weeks while I built that EB Falcon for the Variety Bash Rally. Anyway, that's done and dusted now, and now we can finally get on to this car. In fact, I have actually already started, and um, yeah, there's the old transmission. Yeah, we've already pulled it out. It was a fairly large job, and luckily I had a friend around to help me. So, this one on the left-hand side is the old transmission that's stuck in gear. This one is the new transmission out of the 180SX. They are identical, they all shift the same, they've got lines in the same place, everything's the same, same, so that's fantastic. The only problem we have with the new one is that when the guy pulled up for a manual conversion, he just cut all the wires for all of the sensors and everything like that so what we've got to do is we've got to cut the loom off of this and then transfer it over um i'm not going to just change the sensors over like this one and this one and, and that whole mechanism uh reason being in case those are the problem why it's stuck in gear so we're going to chop these off and then we are going to solder them into their correct place here as I said, they're exactly the same, so cable colors will be the same. Now, as the story goes with this car, you go to fix one thing and you find something else that needs fixing. Look at what we found in here. Oh, no, it's not too, oh, there you go. Yeah, look how flogged that is. That's absolutely rooted. So there's just something else that we've got to replace. And then over this side, tie rod ends. Can you see that? Yep, they're just split right open. So got to replace those as well. Lowered bore joints aren't too bad, so we'll keep them out how they are. Besides that, we haven't found too much else. Oh, no, wait, we have. That's right. Let me show you this. Where is it? Where's the torque converter? Here we go. So this is our cross member, right? You notice anything strange about it? Yeah, the gearbox mount's still attached because half of it's attached to the transmission still. So that's split in half. So that's another week waiting for that to arrive. Um, luckily, the caster arms have already arrived. Now here's another legend I found. Check that out. Nice new bushings in there. 
The rods themselves are second hand, um, but the guy only wanted 50 bucks for them. So a few extra dollars for postage and they are now here. So we'll put those in today as well. Right, solder up the cable, put those in. And I think that's about all we can do today. Let's get cracking. There we go, that wasn't too bad. Nice and easy to take those caster arms out. Uh, this side obviously took a little bit more hammering there as you saw. But, very interestingly, I think I know why. I'm not sure if you can see it, but this lower control arm has Ricker writing on it. S13L for left, and then also on the actual arm itself, S13. So this has been replaced sometime in its past, which makes me think that someone's had an accident in this car. And also, Look at the bend of that. This arm is meant to be straight. Look at the kink down here. That's really bad. So, let's go get our new ones. And we'll just compare that for you. Oh, look at this thing. Look at that, man. That's like just about ready to fall out. That's horrible, that one. Anyway, we've got a nice new ones. So let's work that in. Bring that back over here. Line that up next to that one. Yeah, look at the difference. It looks a lot straighter, that one. Anyway, let's put them in. transmission is ready to go back into the Sylvia. All we're waiting for now is that transmission mount to arrive in the mail which should be less than a week away now. The soldering was a bit tedious but had to be done and that's a smooth easy job now. They're nice and strong. Uh, you will see me there changing over the filters underneath. Now if anyone remembers I put a brand new filter in the old transmission hoping that would fix our problem which it didn't so I thought why waste it put it into the new one unless then we know it is done and we can service it from then on. All right, so that's all for this episode. Thank you very much for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. It all helps a lot, especially those comments and subscriptions. We've got a lot of new people at the moment and it's absolutely fantastic, so welcome all. Uh, last thing I wanna say is, check out what's happened recently. Well, that's the end of the story for this car. Someone just came along and offered me money that I couldn't refuse. So, the $500 LS1 with a free car is now onto a new and better home. So they're actually going to use it as a, a driver and get it working and all that good stuff. So that's fantastic. So the purpose and we had fun with it while we had it. Time to move on to a new car. See you later, old mate. Oh no, nah, you'll have fun in that thing, that's for sure. <laughs>